ladies, it's Kim here, and welcome to my first vlog of 2017. Oh my god, we made it. How do you feel? 2016 was a rough year, but we've made it. And now we're in 2017, and it's time to make things awesome. So I can imagine a lot of you are probably expecting this to be some kind of look back, some kind of like, so that's the, that's the thing that was. Um, and this is not gonna be that. So y'all should know by now, and if you don't, you're in for a big surprise. Um, y'all should know by now that, uh, so this is probably gonna be my last official video on my YouTube channel. Um, if you don't know what's going on, or if, like, I've seen in the comments section on my videos for the last three months, because I did tell you three months ago, um, yeah, I am not doing YouTube anymore. If you have any questions, I thoroughly suggest you watch my original vlog where I announced this and then the follow-up live stream where I answered your questions about it. Links to those videos are in the video description below. Please go and watch them. It's worth your time for all the questions, especially the one about what's going to happen to Flux Buddies 4 because I'm not answering it again. Okay, I'm gonna answer that one question again because it, like, it's been driving me insane. I've literally done two videos about it, a video and a live stream. I've answered it on Twitter and Reddit. I still get people going, what's going on with Flex Buddies 4? Isn't that ever gonna happen again? So here's the answer. Yes, it's gonna happen. It's gonna be on Duncan's channel later this year. Don't ask me anything else about it. Love you. Um, but yeah, any other questions that you have, please watch the original announcement vlog and the follow-up live stream, especially the live stream because I answered a lot of people's questions live about what's going on, about what's going on with Matt, that kind of thing. Oh, by the way, Matt is now editing for Duncan. Pray for him, okay? Pray for him. Um, Cause that's gonna be an interesting experience for him going from super organized me to super laid back Duncan. So Matt is fine, his job is fine. You know, when we are assigned editors within the Yogg's cast, um, it's not like they're our editor for life and it's not like some kind of, you know, old king tradition where when the pharaoh or the emperor dies, all their staff goes with them and gets buried in the pyramid with them. No, it's called having a job. They still have a job within the Yogg's cast. It's just me that's out. Um, but yeah, so I think I wanted to kind of just uh, go over a few things in this video um, because I see there's a lot of misinformation going around out there. Um, so if anyone says anything, like if anyone, I just like, don't give them misinformation. People are saying I'm leaving the Yogg's cast. I'm not leaving the Yogg's cast. Uh, I am still a member of the Yogg's cast. I'll still be going to events. I'll still be uh, popping up on high rollers. Like it's literally in my contract that I'm, I'm doing high rollers. Um, so that's still a thing. Uh, I'm doing streaming. I'm, you know, merch is still happening. If you want to post to me, just send it to the regular PO box. Um, which, you know, is in the video description. So all of that is still happening. I'm just not doing regular content for this YouTube channel. Um, many reasons and wherefores and whyfores are in the videos in the description below. Um, so now that we had about three months to think about this and we're coming to the end, you know, I'm seeing a lot of people getting sad and I'm like, I just want to grab you all and be like, don't be sad. Be excited, because this is exciting. Look at me, I'm excited. I look like I've actually had some goddamn sleep, which is better than how I've looked for all of last year. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've got some other opportunities coming up. Uh, nothing I can talk too uh, much about at the moment because I'm still kind of working a few things out. Um, I might be doing some writing and things like that. I'm not doing too much at the moment because uh, I'm actually planning to go away to Malaysia for Chinese New Year. So I'm kind of waiting for that to happen. And then when I get back, the big plans start. Um, but yeah, so please don't be sad, be excited. And like I said, um, I know probably a lot of you were expecting some kind of like nostalgic look back or like a big farewell. And, and I really thought about it and I thought for the last month about doing some kind of big goodbye video. But the closer I got to today, the more I was like, do you know what? I, I don't wanna do one because I don't wanna make this really morbid and sad. I don't want it to be a sad event. And I feel like anything I do would make it all like, ah, um, which I don't want because, you know, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. And I, I want you guys to come with me and be nervous, excited too. Well, maybe not the nervous part, but the excited bit, um, yeah. Like I said, the YouTube channel is such a small part of, of 
what we have all become now. We have our streaming, we have other people's channels, we have, you know, I'm still on Twitter. It's not like I'm going anywhere. The community Discord we have is still there. I terrorize people on it on a daily basis. You know, I'll still be playing Overwatch with you guys, you know, and, and I'm not going anywhere. Well, apart from with Malaysia, but that's just for the holiday, so don't worry about that bit. Um, so yeah, so I decided not to do a big farewell video because this to me is not a farewell. It's a see you later or see you around. Um, it's not a so long and thanks for all the fish. It's not a goodbye. It's nothing like that. Um, you know, and it's just a kind of like, you know, yeah, see you later. I will be doing vlogs, so I'm hoping when I'm out in Malaysia for Chinese New Year, I'll try and film some things around that. Probably not as much as I did in Thailand and all that because this is going to be a family holiday um, and a fair member of my families don't really want to be on camera. Um, so I'm not sure how I'm going to be, how much I'm going to be able to film, but I will try and film a fair bit of my hometown of Penang and of like kind of authentic Chinese New Year celebrations because celebrating Chinese New Year in a Southeast Asian country is a little bit different to a UK Western country. Um, so I will try that. So there will be the occasional vlog. A lot of you love Bear, the new Foundland that I washed over Christmas and Stu has invited me back to go meet Bear again when he next has his next wash so maybe you'll see more of Yogg's cast Bear um, and, and yeah any random vlog like my friend has invited me to teach me um, archery so I was like maybe I'll do that another friend for Christmas bought me uh, parkour lessons um, at a local parkour place so maybe I'll do a video on that like who knows you know but the real motto here is never say never I said it all through Nana's village never say never um, so like I mentioned Flux Buddies 4 will be happening on Duncan's channel sometime later this year so don't worry about that um, I've already Hannah's already been in touch with me over some recording um, and streaming with her um, so about Resident Evil and Outlast 2 and all that so all of those things are still gonna happen on their channels um, you know my YouTube channel just isn't really gonna be up to much apart from the occasional vlog here or there and then of course I will be streaming regular regularly um, I'm trying to do a couple of streams before I go over to Malaysia uh, but I'm just having a couple of problems and I'll show you why in a second um, so hopefully we'll be able to have a little catch up before I go over to Malaysia and then when I get back I'll pick up uh, regular streaming again as well and I will put the full vods of those up on my YouTube channel as well I had a lot of requests for that so um, thank you for your feedback and I will put uh, the vods I'll cut them down um, and put them up on my YouTube channel as well so you get that as well so I'm not dead I'm not dying I'm not leaving the yards cast I'm not it's not a big melodrama. It's a fun, a fun, happy, fun time. And as you can see, so basically, um, people may recognize this room, probably not. Uh, but if I pick this up and spin this way, so this annex here, he, he, here, this bit here, is where my computer used to be, and that's where I used to stream from. People who are used to me streaming are probably used to this view, kind of like there. Maybe there used to be a table there with all my toys on and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, my computer is now over there. And there's nothing over here but a big empty space. Um, so I'm gonna get off my chair and, and, and do this properly. So basically, um, this is my upstairs room in my converted weird ass bungalow that my the previous owner decided to build an upstairs. And I decided it was time for a change. New year, new start. And um, this is part of it. Um, so this was all white, well actually kind of yellow before because the paint was getting all crappy. Um, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you like this. So I spent a couple of days, well actually it took quite a lot of time, uh, clearing it up, cleaning up, sanding down all these freaking skirting boards, and that took freaking ages. Um, yeah, repainting everything. I decided to go a bit crazy with the kind of green feature walls and stuff like that. Um, painting this cupboard was a real pain in the butt because the, the paint's all sticky and gross. Blech. Look at my little feature feature panel over there. That just leads into a loft. So yeah, as you can see, my computer is now over in this corner here. And it's kind of crap because as you can see, it sticks out here. And then when my chair is in, I bump into this banister all the time. But that's because this is all temporary. Uh, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put a bed up here, which is how my previous owner had it This was actually a bedroom before so I'm gonna put a bed up here uh, And then that 
thing is moving and then all of this is gonna move and then something's gonna happen with this, I don't know what. Um, but basically, yeah, I'm gonna convert my downstairs bedroom uh, into a more creative space because my downstairs bedroom that I currently sleep in is, um, well, it's probably not as big as this, but it's a really beautiful space with some uh, garden doors that open out into my garden. And I thought that would be a really beautiful space to kind of turn into a creative area for writing, for reading, for artistry, for making videos, for streaming, that kind of thing. So um, that's gonna happen when I get back from Malaysia, probably. So all of this PC crap is gonna go downstairs um, and in the meantime uh, my Wi-Fi adapter uh, has broken on my computer so my computer currently has no internet meaning I can't stream at the moment so that's something I am fixing as well um, so like I said hopefully I will fix that in time to do some streaming with you before I go tell you one cool thing from doing all this DIY I'm still covered in paint by the way I got paint all up my arms um, are these lights that I bought. I'm totally influenced by Chris Trot at this point because Chris Trot and Duncan actually have an obsession with changeable lighting. Uh, so like these kind of spectrum lights, like Duncan's office room, room in the office is full of these color changing lights. And then Trot as well as house has these cool changey light bulbs that change with an app on his phone. So uh, I found these at home, ba no home base, B&Q. But yeah, look, you can change the lights. Oh, isn't that crazy? Oh, look, oh, what color is that? What color is that? And then you can just turn it off, turn it on. Like, you can turn it off so that the LED's off and it's just the cool, like, that light. Look at that. Pretty cool. And then if I just sit here and I'm like, and I'm, I'm, you can't see my hand, I can just be like, computer, lights off. Computer, lights on. <laughs> Uh, I've had far too much fun with these lights. Let, let's let, let's go for some mood light. Yeah, let's go for that, shall we? There we go. So yeah, that's been my life for the last week. <laughs> oh God, help me. Um, but yeah. So like I said, um, if you were looking for a final send off vlog, I'm sorry to disappoint. I I kind of feel as well like. We, we did that with Nano's Village. If you haven't checked out Nano's Village with Duncan, please do. It was a great final recording. And I think, I think if anything, like Nano's Village with Duncan, like go and watch that. It's just four episodes, you lazy buggers. Um, and I feel like that was a really good send off because we talked about a lot of like the Minecraft that we've done and a lot of the crazy videos we've made over the three, three years. Let's see, it was May, 2013. Yeah, three years, three years and six months. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it, it, that, that I think really, the Nano's Village with Duncan that's just come out, that's the proper kind of like, bye, if you're looking for one. And this is just a kind of like, Kim doesn't know what to do for a video send off, so we're not gonna have one instantly look at her really green room. And um, yeah, and she's got cool lights. <laughs> um, so yeah, this video is just a big reassuring, like, a, a big reassuring hug, I guess, and a kind of uh, a reaffirmation of what's going on. So like I said, if you want the full story, links in the video description below, go watch those. Um, and if you see anyone spreading any misinformation, like I've left the Yogs cast or anything like that, please can you tell them polite, politely uh, that that's not the case. I'm still a part of the Yogs cast. I am still working with the Yogs cast. I still have access to the Yogs cast office. Yeah. Um, and you'll still see me cropping up in a lot of people's videos and streams and I'll be doing my own streams I'll be doing my own occasional vlog when something interesting happens um, And yeah, it's all gonna be fun and awesome and I really am feeling quite excited about 2017 over Christmas I was given a lot of presents um, based on creative writing based on D&D &D, uh, a lot of things um, To inspire me a lot of crazy books about death and death rituals around the world uh, thanks mom uh, and a lot of fables and fairy tales and mythology because I always loved fables fairy tales and mythology I went down into the basement and I dug out all my old uh, stories that I wrote when I was younger um, and looked at some of them and cringed and looked at some of them and was like hmm that's a good idea past Kim maybe future Kim will capitalize on this 
Um, but yeah, and I've already had some talks with some people like in the industry, in the games industry, um, about potential projects coming up. Um, so yeah, it's, I'm really excited for this year, and I hope you are too. And I hope you guys are excited for your 2017 as well. I mean, I know 2016 was a bit of a rough one, but I feel like we should take this opportunity to make 2017 an awesome one. And that kind of starts with you at home, you know. What is it you want to achieve this year? I mean, let me know in the comments below. Uh, what, what do you want to do? What, do, what goals have you set yourself? You know, I'm not one for New Year's resolutions. I'm more one for kind of, I don't know, like self-improvement over time or you know whatever makes you happy but I mean my goals this year are to just be creative and launch some creative projects maybe do that bookshop uh, that I keep talking about um, I've, so I've got a meeting with a couple of people about that soon um, but yeah let me know what your goals for this year are and let's make this like a really awesome year um, so if you haven't checked out my Twitch channel, check it out. Um, I'm not going to be streaming too much before I go, so I'm going to go at the end of January and be back mid-February. Um, so obviously I won't be a part of High Rollers. I think there's three High Rollers sessions that I'm missing, um, but I will be back. On which note, today's Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday, you know, and this is another reason why I didn't want to put out another video on the Sunday, is because y'all should be watching High Rollers. Um, so if you don't know, it's the D&D campaign that I've been a part of with Chris Trott, Katie, uh, Matt and and Mark, Mark Humes, I thought there was another player there, but there isn't. Um, yeah, and Mark Humes, our DM, um, and it is genuinely one of the things that I love the most in life right now is, um, I've, I've really enjoyed in 2016 how much I got to like kind of flex my creative brain with that, especially with the one shot that I ran. And I'm certainly gonna be planning a few more one shots. Oh, and for those of you who are interested, the two one shots I ran last year, I will be typing up the notes in a much more cohesive fashion and I'll release them later this year so if you wanted to run those one shots, so the haunting of Ennis House and uh, like the cabin in the woods one that I did, I will release those. Um, so yeah, let me know how your campaign goes if you're interested in that. Um, but that's something I certainly want to do. Oh, I'm gonna be a parking, uh, a parking, appearing on Mark Humes' channel. So um, he's asked me to do a recording with him next week. So I'll be appearing there. As I mentioned before, Hannah's asked me to do some recording, Duncan's asked me to, so I will be around. I just won't be around much on this channel. This has been a bit of a rambly video, hasn't it? It's not usually my style. I think it's just because I'm so worried about what to say to you guys. Um, and I just wanna reassure you that not a great deal is gonna change. And um, ultimately, you know, just please don't be sad, be excited. I'm still here. Come join us in the community. Uh, I'll be taking a part in a lot of the community events that we hold on Discord. So we do a lot of um, competitions in our, on our Minecraft server and things like that. Overwatch is always a good place to come hang out with me. Um, so yeah, like there's plenty of ways to keep up and get in touch and stuff like that. And um, thank you as well so much as ever for your support, your generosity, your awesomeness over the years. If you still want to send me fan mail, by the way, um, please just like send it to the PO box. I will still be coming in regularly to pick it up, so I will still get it. Um, incidentally, uh, I'm not entirely sure I will be able to reply to fan mail. Um, so I, as I cleared out my office from Yogg Towers over Christmas, uh, I had about 200 pieces of fan mail from the last year alone, 2016 alone. Um, and I just, I can't reply to it. It's too much. I don't have the budget to send out mail anymore because um, like, I can't use the Yogscast one, which is fair enough. Um, so please, I'm really sorry. I won't be able to reply, but rest assured I have read everything, especially all the Christmas cards and the presents and the birthday presents and cards you sent me. You're so sweet. Thank you very, very much. Um, but yeah, I, I just won't be able to reply because there's so much to reply to and uh, I don't have that much time. Everyone thinks I'm just going to be a bum now, but ch the thing is I'm actually busier than ever almost, <laughs> like sorting out so many things, especially because someone decided they were going to redecorate their home. Ugh. I really should just hire someone to do it for me, like that, that really should be the answer to that. Thanks for being a part of this crazy journey so far. And I look forward to going forward with you guys into the next chapter. Um, I think that's why I called my announcement video the next chapter, because this isn't an ending, it's a starting of a new chapter. 
Um, so I would be really happy if you guys came along with me. If you can't continue to come with me because you can't join the streams or you can't watch the videos, then that's fine. You know, thank you so much for your support so far. You know, it, it, the last three years have been insane. And over Christmas, I've been doing a lot of thinking because obviously I've been unpacking a lot of things and um, going through a lot of videos and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's been, this has been crazy. It's been a crazy journey so far. YouTube is a crazy, crazy thing. Um, and I'm very much looking forward to exploring the next era uh, with you. Um, but yeah, thank you very much guys. Come watch me tomorrow on High Rollers. Uh, it's 5 p.m. to 6, 7, 8 p.m. GMT uh, every Sunday on twitch.tv forward slash yogscast. And then my personal uh, streaming time, uh, well, times may change in the new year, but at the moment it's Tuesday morning uh, GMT and Friday evening, although I'm going to play around with that and probably change up the times a little bit, especially as I'll be freer during the day a bit more. Uh, and that's twitch.tv forward slash Kim. Come join our community on Discord. Again, links are in the video description below. I'll still be on Reddit, I'll still be on Twitter, all the usual places that you can find me. And um, yeah. Let's look forward to 2017 together. And I hope you have an awesome new year. Uh, I hope that we all achieve amazing things in 2017. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys around. Oh my God, wait, no, it should be smell you later, alligator. Cause that's what it is, it's not a goodbye. So yeah, smell you later, alligator. Mwah.